Hello, I'm Carol. In today's experiment, we will be covering the topics of cellular biology. More specifically, we will be using the science of teric pressure to answer the questions what happens when cells absorb water and how this affects cellular structure. For this experiment, you will need five toothpicks, a flat plate, a straw, and some water. First, snap the five toothpicks in half, but make sure not to break them all the way. Next, place the toothpicks on the plate with the broken ends touching. Now take the straw and pick up a little bit of water, then carefully drop the water in the center of the toothpicks. Watch as the toothpicks move away from each other. So why did this happen? Toothpicks are made from wood, and wood comes from trees, which are a type of plant. Plants, like all other living things, are made from tiny building blocks called plant cells. Through a process known as osmosis, plant cells take in water and store it in little balloon-like organelles called vacuoles. When a lot of water is inside the vacuoles, cells become turgid. They become more and more swollen and structured. In other words, the cell's turgor pressure increases. In this experiment, as you add water to the toothpicks, the cells take in all that water and become swollen, causing the bent sections of the toothpicks to slightly straighten out and create that star shape that you see. If you've ever taken care of a plant, you likely would have seen this concept in action. When a plant is not watered enough, it will likely be leaning over and droopy. However, watering it will cause it to straighten out and look healthy again. From this experiment, you hopefully learned that plant cells can become swollen and structured by taking water into vacuoles through the process of osmosis, leading to increased turgor pressure. Thank you for watching! Make sure to try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science in your results! If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more science experiments. And don't forget to comment below what you would like us to cover next time. Bye!